right? We, if, if our vision can be fulfilled in our lifetime, it's too small. And you don't decide who you marry, you discover. The dating process is a, is a discovery process. Yeah, you made a mistake, but you don't focus on the mistake. I mean, sometimes there's consequences for that, but hey, but you're better than that. Right. You're gonna make it. Good school. It is. Yeah. I bleed gold and blue. Awesome. I can sing the fight song for you. <laughs> okay, I will twist my arm. <laughs> gold and eagle, so are you. That's your mom's personality. Thank you. <laughs> She's way better. Well, it's, if we get gooder and gooder, if we keep, if we keep, if if we if we keep pouring into the next generation, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what C.S. Lewis thought. Yeah, that's right. We if if our vision can be fulfilled in our lifetime, it's too small. Yeah, and like the if your vision calling needs to go through. And yeah, continue if it, on. if it if you can finish, you accomplish your vision in your lifetime. It's way too small. What's an example of that in your life? Well, just just my my ministry, you know, we we're gonna pass it on to the next generation. You know, sons and daughters, natural sons and daughters or spiritual sons and daughters, right? If we have success without a a successor is a failure. Wow. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And we're called to make disciples, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, that term gets you know, people don't like that term sometimes, but uh, just because it's, it sounds too, you know, Bible or whatever. But that we're called, we've got to pour into the next generation, and we've got to, you know, that's that's how the, that's how what our values and everything we are, it can be everything we believe in can be lost in one generation. This is true. Yeah, so that's why I'm I'm stoked about. <laughs> about you being involved with this is awesome. Being intergenerational, yeah. I love it. Yeah. And I think too, if we look at the way that things were handed down in the Bible, yeah. the successful, yeah. most successful right. men and women right. had a successor. Yeah. Yeah, but even, you know, Jesus spent, you know, three and a half years with 12 men and one of those didn't work out. Right. So, you know, that gives me hope that you can pour into people and not a, not all of it's going to work out but you might have a Judas in the line. Yeah, but you know, the bottom line is you can't you can't give up on the process just because somebody fails or, you know, it doesn't work out. They well, we don't live in a perfect world, right? Mm -hmm. So uh not everybody's as perfect as as Sarah and Isabel. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, or Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> or Marilyn. But uh you know, you you can't give up on the process. There's just you know, we have to pour into the next generation. If we, if we, um, it's a, again, it doesn't matter what you're called to do. Whatever your gift, calling, you know, your career, whatever. If you don't, that platform is just a place of influence. And what are you doing with that influence? You know, are you pouring into the next generation or are you just using it for your own? Your own name, your own you know, glory. Yeah, or your own benefit or people patting you on the back and telling you you're great, whatever. Right. And I think the the best mentors that I've had have kept with me even when I fall. Oh, yeah, for sure. You don't give up on your kids when they first start to ride their bike and they fall, you know, and you don't get down there and kick them. And, <laughs> right? We're done with bikes. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, no, you just, hey, you can do it. Yeah, you get know, back you, on. Yeah, you made a mistake. But you don't focus on the mistake. I mean, sometimes there's consequences for that. But hey, but you're better than that. Right. You're, you're going to make it. You're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. And you, we have to believe in the next generation. And they're not going to do everything perfect the way we did it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness! I hope not. <laughs> everything has to be different. Yeah. I mean, it, you have to be your own person. It's not about you being a clone to somebody else or you requiring that. You know, but. Are you investing in anyone, in anyone? And I think on the other side of it, you have to have a teachable spirit. Well, exactly. If you have, it's amazing, Isabel, how smart each of my four children got. I mean, how, how smart I got hmm. uh, when each of my four children graduated from 17 to 25. Man, I got amazingly wise. Wow. In their minds. <laughs> <Right>? That's great. <laughs> yeah. But no, you have to, you, this thing of, you know, I know, dad, I know, you know, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the way it's pride. It is. Yeah. We just, 
hey, let's let's learn. We don't know what we don't know. Right. One of my things that I say every day is I don't know everything and it's possible I don't know anything. Yeah, this old statesman from uh, Oklahoma, Will Rogers, mm -hmm. he said, we're all ignorant just on different subjects. Mm, I like that. So I can learn. I can learn things from you. Yeah. Yeah. Like Formula One. Yeah. Racing. Yeah. I could sure learn that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. You should yeah. look into it. Yeah. So where are your kids at right now in like their ages? Do yeah, my kids? my kids are uh, in their forties. Okay. Yeah. And then you have grandkids. I have grandchildren, and my oldest granddaughter, uh, she'll be twenty-one, and she she just got married. That's so exciting. Yeah, two weeks ago. I did the wedding. That is an yeah, honor. it was cool. Wow. Yeah, very cool. How was that for you? I cried. <laughs> and, uh, and but she was so beautiful and just just married a great guy and, you know, so with a great, great family. So we're really happy for him. And, yeah. Yeah. And marriage. It's kind oh, of a big deal. Oh, man. Tell me. Are right. you married yet? No, I am very single. Okay. I'm married to the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got a good guy for you, though. I believe it. Yeah. In his timing. Yeah. Don't 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 settle for second best. I will settle for his best. Uh, yeah. And you don't decide who you marry. You discover. Mm. Mm. The dating process is a, is a discovery process. What do you mean by that? Well, you 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 just you're taking time to get to know that person. And you don't marry somebody until you know that you know what you know and you know her. Right. If you have to ask me, is this, or your mom or dad, is this the right person? Not yet. Mm. Yeah. But they could be. Well, they could be. Down but, the line. But not until you know. It's like a process, like it you is. said. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so don't despise the uh, discovery process. Yeah. Because it's beautiful. And I think it can yeah. be holy, too. Yeah, it is. And For sure. yeah, dating is the worst, but can, it can also be the best. <laughs> well, yeah, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Just don't, just don't share all of your, uh, every detail about your life, the first or second date. You know, just incrementally give them information. Or steps. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Uh, you want to find out if they if they can be trustworthy, right? Right. Yeah. Along those lines, um, what is one piece of advice or a book that you recommend every young person read or heed? Well, ad advice would be to, counsel would be, you know, to have an intimate relationship with the Lord uh, and know him through his word, mm -hmm. okay? That, uh, and that's, that's, the best, that's the best book that I, I could recommend is just, is don't don't look at it at some archaic book. Let God talk to you. Uh, air, his sheep hear His voice, so you can you learn to learn to hear and recognize His voice. Mm -hmm. And just what you said earlier, Isabel, is humility. Is realize be teachable. You know, just don't don't think you know it all. I'm, I'm you know, uh, fifty plus. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I am 50 minus. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I'm still learning every day. I, I can learn from anybody. And I'm a voracious learner, uh, reader, you know. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good, a lot of good books that I've, uh, that I've read. Uh, Oswald Sanders wrote on, uh, on spirituality. I mean, there's just, there's just a lot of, a lot of good books. Uh, yeah. Kenneth Hagin wrote a great book on how to be led by the Spirit. Okay. Uh, you know, Andrew Walmack wrote a, uh, got a great book on spirit, soul, and body. I love that. Yeah. At my school, we had it was called whole person education. Yeah. So they educated the mind, the body, and the spirit. Yeah. Teal Osborne's book on on Christ, the uh, or uh, well, it wasn't Teal Osborne, but he he's got he had a good book on several good books on. You know, winning the lost, and mm -hmm. um, then uh, Christ the healer. I'm trying to remember the. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, we read it in one of my classes yeah. in school. Yeah, it's a great book. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. What about movies? Movies, okay. Uh, I like uh, Sabrina. With Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. The original well, one. Well, I like both of them. Me too. 
Yeah. Audrey Hepburn is the best Sabrina, but yeah. I don't like Humphrey Bogart. I like yeah. Harrison Ford. Yeah. We, we like that because they had a lot of really good values in it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Teachability, yeah. humility. Yeah. Be willing to admit when you're wrong. Yeah. I yeah. love that movie. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty cool. I mean, we don't, we don't well, I mean, it's hard to find a, it's hard to find a real good movie. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we, we actually went, when, uh, uh, J.D. Vance was, you know, uh, chosen for vice presidential candidate, right? Right. We decided to watch his movie, Hillbilly Elegy. Yep. Okay, so it's got a lot of language. I, I, a little I, bit. <laughs> and that's why we didn't start to watch it, but that, but that actually was a, it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, my boys and I, we, uh, you know, we, we watched a lot of war movies and action movies you know so my dad and my brothers yeah. are the same yeah so that's sweet and yeah. so how many sons and daughters three sons and one daughter wow yeah is she the youngest in the middle she's number three okay so yeah. she's right smack dab in the middle and nine granddaughters and three grandsons wow yeah so you, maybe you're a little bit busy well we have we've gone to a lot of uh dance recitals right <laughs> but you you're an expert on the pirouette oh yeah it's it's awesome, yeah. That's sweet though. Yeah, I, yeah. One one of them, we had there were two hundred girls right in this dance recital, and so my daughter, my granddaughter Addie and Madeline, they were number seven and number forty eight. Wow. And so we got to watch. We got to watch a lot of dances. That's a lot. But the next Sunday morning, I was ministering at my church, and I was ta actually talking about the favor of God, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I showed the pictures of Addie and Madeline. Well, Madeline was six years old, mm -hmm. seven years old, was there. In the in, building? In the, in the audience. She didn't go to children's church that morning. Oh, wow. And I talked about, you know, 200 girls there, but guess who? which pictures we took? And I showed the pictures up there. And I said, it's because the favor of God is on her and God's favor is on you. Well, she was in the second row. She leapt up off of the chair into my arms. Oh, oh, that is really sweet. It was like, it was over. That's <laughs> precious. You oh, needed a minute. Oh. Well, the, the that that wow. that uh, sealed the message, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's and, so beautiful. And you know, that's what God wants to do with us. Yeah. You know. He wants to tell everyone how great is yeah, this. Yeah, and and man, I, you know, they didn't do every move perfect, but we still took their picture, right? That's so and sweet. we don't do every move perfect. But man, he just so loves us, and he's got our drawings on yeah, his fridge. Yeah, he just he does, and just wants uh, got our picture in his wallet, and if he has a wallet, <laughs> <laughs> the godly wallet. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, just he just loves us and believes in us, and and uh, when we stumble and fall, he's there to pick us up, not beat us in the head with a ball bat. Yeah. Yeah, I think about like Jesus is the healer. Not only can he like put his hands on and heal, but he's the one who puts you know, sporin on our heart cuts and band-aids because right. we need that time of. Yeah, he's the healer of the brokenhearted. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah. So I'm enjoyed. so honored yeah. and excited. No, it's my honor. Good um, to meet you. Yes, it's good to meet yeah. you too. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us yeah. here on Main Street. I'm Isabel and we'll hope catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. God bless. <laughs>